Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make an 1 watt amplifier with LM386. So let's get started. This is the IC LM386. Pin number 6 is connected to plus 12 volt. Pin number 2 and 4 both are connected to the ground and in between this we have to connect one electrolyte capacitor the value is 1000 microfarad. Pin number 3 is connected with a potentiometer. One side of the potentiometer is connected to the pin number 3 and other side is connected to the ground. The middle pin is connected with a capacitor and then the negative pin of the capacitor is connected to two resistors. The value of the capacitor is 1 microfarad. The value of the potentiometer is 10 kilo ohms and two resistors are 820 ohms. Now see this. This is the 3.5 mm audio jack and it has three pins ground, left and right. And I have soldered it like this. And I have kept the green one as ground and these both are left and right. So, this is the left and right. The ground pin of audio jack is connected to the ground of the circuit. Now come to the output side. Pin 5 is connected to a 220 microfarad capacitor. And then here we have to connect our output speaker. The impedance of the loudspeaker is 4 ohms but you can use 8 ohms also. The other pin of the speaker is connected to the ground. Now we need 0 0.05 microfarad capacitor but I don't have this. So I'll connect two pieces of 0.1 microfarad capacitor in series. So the equivalent value will be 0 0.05 microfarad. The value of the resistor is 10 ohms and these two are 0 0.1 microfarad. So the equivalent value will be 0 0.05 microfarad. Sometimes 104 is written on the capacitor. So these both are same actually 0 0.1 or 104. These two are ceramic capacitor and these are electrolyte capacitor. And this is from 3.5 mm audio jack. So this is all about the circuit. Now let's see this on the breadboard. Put the LM386, pin number 2 and 4 both are connected to the ground rail, pin number 6 is connected to the positive rail, now connect both the negative rail and the positive rail. And now connect 1000 microfarad capacitor to both the power line. The negative pin of the capacitor is connected to the negative rail and positive pin of the capacitor is connected to the positive rail. Now put the potentiometer, one side of the potentiometer is connected to the ground and other side is connected to the pin number 3 of LM386. The middle pin of the potentiometer is connected to a positive pin of a capacitor. This capacitor value is 1 microfarad and then two resistors are connected to the negative pin of the capacitor, the 820 ohms resistor. Okay. I'll use this pin as left and this one as right. This is the 5mm audio jack. Okay. Ground is connected to the ground rail. Left is connected. And this one is right. Okay. So input section is completed. Now come to the output section. Pin 5 is connected with 0.1 microfarad capacitor and we have to connect two of them in series and then connect 10 ohms resistor and this is connected to the ground. Then 220 ohm microfarad capacitor is connected to pin 5. The positive pin of the capacitor is connected to this.
one pin of the speaker is connected to the ground and other pin is connected to the negative pin of the capacitor okay as you can see so this is how our breadboard connection is completed now I'm connecting this jet for the audio input Here is the negative and here is the positive. Okay. Now I'll play this. It is low sound. I'll make it full sound. Now I'm playing it. This is Aito. This is Aito speaker. Now I'm trying with this. This is four ohms. Again, I'm playing. Okay, so I'm playing this song in full sound. Now I'll try with this. This is also a forum speaker. One pin is in negative rail and another is negative pin of the capacitor. Okay. Now I am reducing the volume. Okay, now I'm playing. Increasing the volume.
so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching